I'm just gonna be honest here. Cause I like kill my hair. <laughs> and so I think my mom took it, honestly. Thanks mom. I don't know what I'm doing. Smush that forehead down. Did I blend it in? Sorry, I get distracted really easily. I think I have a little bit of ADHD. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. And pretty much I'm just gonna show you how I do my hair and how I do my makeup on the weekends because let's face it, during the work week, I'm throwing on mascara and putting my hair in a bun or a side braid because I don't have time to be doing all my hair and makeup fully during the week. What I'm gonna do is I usually like, I know a lot of people do their makeup before they do their hair. But I'm like the opposite because it's really fast and easy for me to do my hair because as you can see, like my hair is already pretty straight and I actually kind of straightened the side already and then decided to do this video. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just straighten my hair. I usually have heat protectant spray, but I went to a Mardi Gras ball this past weekend and I took it to the hotel with us and I got ready with my mom. And so I think my mom took it, honestly. Thanks, mom. I'm just going to go ahead and straighten my hair. I'm going to kill my hair because I don't have any heat protectant spray. But this is the straightener I use. I've had this straightener for since high school like probably even middle school no I think it was high school like this straightener has been in my life for a long time and I usually just like you can see I can just turn it on and it's a chi and I just put it on 410 because I like kill my hair <laughs> I just take my hair and then like little strands like this and then I just kind of straighten it down oh and if you're wondering why in the world am I doing this video in the kitchen it's because I have better lighting in here than in the bathroom because my bathroom is like really dark and it has no windows and then this window in my kitchen just has the best lighting in my entire house and those are my beautiful flowers that i got for valentine's day sorry i get distracted really easily i think i have a little bit of adhd I'm not like a perfectionist or anything. I literally watched a few videos on how to do makeup and so that's where I've learned how to do makeup. I don't have anything fancy. I don't go to Sephora. Literally bought one thing of mascara from Sephora or whatever, Ulta, one of those places. And it was not as good as my Walmart mascara. So I decided that Walmart and Five Below and Dollar General have the makeup for me. Oh, no, and Walgreens, because I got a lot of makeup from Walgreens. I got this one from, where did I get it? Where did I get it? Where did I get it? I got this from a flea market. I was a little skeptical of buying it, but I had bought like a little travel size before at Sephora whenever I thought I could get into buying makeup, but I realized it was way too expensive to buy it at those places. The coverage medium, I believe. Yeah, medium, it's on the back. And I use this for my face to just kind of go through and get rid of the redness. And I don't even use a lot. Like I take one of these beauty blenders, and honestly, I wouldn't even have one of these if my mama wouldn't have got me this for Christmas. And I'm not really sure. It looks like there's like ink or something on it. But anyway, like I take it and then I just put like a dab like that. Like not a lot at all. And then I just kind of like dab, dab, dab. Dab, 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 dab everywhere. And this is my face now. See, you can tell it got rid of a lot of the redness and which was nice. That was the CC cream. And then this beauty blender that I got for Christmas from my mom. Contour Highlight Cream and Liquid Duo by Milani. I think I got this from Walgreens. This is supposed to be contour, so you're supposed to like put it in those little sections, I guess, to make your cheekbones or whatever. Apparently you're supposed to put it right there. And some people put it on their side of their nose. And then, I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I just feel like a warrior. And I think people put it on their forehead. Yeah. Is that all the places? Yeah. See, you can tell I don't do this that much. But, and then I take, like, the side of my beauty blender. Not the side that I dab my face with. But the side that I just, like, use for, that has the dark stuff on it. And then I just dab this out.
because everyone knows you don't need a big forehead. Got to smush it down. Smush, smush, smush. Smush that forehead down. So done. We're looking beautiful. Okay. So that's literally all I do to contour. The thing that I use is I go through and I have this e.l.f. lipstick, which does not look good on me. But honestly, I don't have any blush, so I use it for blush. And so I take, like, the pink side of the e.l.f. And it's supposed to be, like, day and night. And then I just kind of, like, put it right here. A little few dots. A little few dots right here. Don't judge me if I didn't put that in the right place because I told you I don't know what I'm doing. And then I take it and then I go like this. And then you dab that one out too. Oh no, I made it too red on this side. Only really like it lightly. What am I gonna do? What do I do? What do I do? Baby wipes. That's what I do. I use baby wipes constantly. It actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe I should just put a little more red on this side. Nah, I think we're good. Pretty much, my face makeup's done. If I want to do highlight because I'm feeling frisky, I take the other end of the contour thing. And then... You're supposed to put it like... Oh no, too much. I don't want to be like Rudolph here. Whew. All right, and then some people like stuck it there or something and then I think they like put it here, this highlight brush. And then I just blend that in like that. Sometimes dab it because I'm probably doing it wrong. So it's looking good to me. Okay, so that's the face and next step that I do is my eyes. I use this brush right here. Got it from Five Below. Five Below? Oh, and this brush I got from Five Below, or maybe I got this one from All Grains. I'm not sure. Um, and I take this Too Faced um, eyeshadow. I didn't get this from Ulta or Sephora. I definitely got this from that flea market lady. So anyway, I paid cheap. Probably not even real. Who knows? Probably pulled it out of the dumpster. But I, to put it, like, what I do is, like, I tap it on here, like that, just to get some, like, on the end. And then I just kind of, like, put a little bit at the bottom of my lashes because I feel like that just needs some help. And I just use this as eyeliner. And then, like, I take it and I stick it up here. And then just touch up. And then I do this side the same way. What I usually do as well is if I want to do eyeshadow, I usually will take this darker, like brown right here, if I just feel like being a little bit darker, and then I'll rub that on here. I'll take the gold if I'm feeling like glamorous or I'll take this gold, depending on how glamorous I'm feeling. And I'll take this gold, most of the time I just use my finger, honestly. And I put that like right here and just kind of rub it in. And then if I feel like it needs a little bit of help, I rub it in too with this, just on the edge. And then, I'll take the one up here and uh, you'll you're just, just like put it on your brow bone or something and then put it in the corner this is what I take for the eyebrows so I'll take this wet and wild pen again I got this from five below 
And then I like, it comes out a little bit like this and then I take that in and then I just kind of like color my eyebrows just a little bit darker because my eyebrows are already pretty dark. And honestly, like I barely even color them in. Like I'm not a big, like I like dark eyebrows person. I'm just, I just do it probably mainly because other people do it. So I feel like I should do it. There's apparently like there's this thing in here. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it, but I just do that because it came with it. All right. Curl my eyelashes. I wish my eyelashes were already curly, but they kind of like go straight out. I feel like. Voluminous Lash Parade from Walmart. And then that's pretty much it. I'll take this JD Beauty lip stuff. I'll put this on. I take this velvet mat that I got from Victoria's Secret, like it's in my annual, annual sale for like five bucks. And then I like add it to it because I feel like with both of these like blended together they made like the perfect color because I honestly felt like this the other one was a little bit darker because I want it to be like the color of my lips and then that's it so this is it this is my makeup this is how I do my hair this is how I do my makeup and all of that if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up also be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload new videos all right well I'll talk to y'all later bye